What's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper 2. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. I hope you all had a great Christmas and those of you that maybe don't celebrate, hope you had a good Monday. But the game plan for today is we just need to keep trying to unlock some new tools. I also just found out there aren't actually any houses available to purchase just yet. So we're not going to be able to do a, a full flip for quite some time, I think. But let's check our emails here. Uh, just skimming. We have the Meowing Stones, gave me a concert in my garage, cleaning, modernize the interior, new and clean living room, pack some delicate stuff. So maybe we'll unpack some delicate things. The other one from Mark here in Crawfish Coast, again, just skimming, says a pretty damaged wall, some extra tiles, and replace some furniture. Wait, some extra tiles? Maybe we'll unlock the tiling tool from this one. So in that case, I think we should tackle the easier one first with this girl who threw a concert in her garage. Okay, this is way filthier than it was looking in the photos, but they've got all their chairs out here for the audience members. Still got the microphone, lights, amps, mixing equipment, piano, drum set. They got it all except for a guitar, I suppose. The meowing stones though, huh? Must be good. At Love's Garage, June 14th. Show started at 9 p.m. That's late. That that is a that is a late show. And like, where did all the paint come from? It must have been tracked in from outside. And there's like a handprint on the door. Oh, here's Hi. our here's our girl now. Love here. What's so up? tell me how you're doing. Everything's fine and dandy. Yeah. I gotta tell you, I'm still a bit tired after the concert. We had such a blast. So you can probably what is that, tell mustard? that by the look of the house. Um, it's, uh, uh, well, how did this happen? You know how it is. When it's... the party goes wild, the party goes wild. Yeah, it's, oh my lord. And I'm oh not a person that stops people from lord. having harmless fun. No, no, I join them. Especially when they bring this, like, dry paint thing. It was awesome. All those yeah, so awesome. In the air. So great. One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Kate didn't agree though she's okay. my roommate i wrote you about her the whole night she's been worrying about the state of the house poor thing i, I probably would have been too relax a bit and enjoy life from time to time all right oh, let's just get right. started while while Kate's this lady's talking to anyways. us she asked me to ask you not to touch stuff in her room she's super neat so there's no mess to tempt you anyway her okay. room is the one on the right when you go upstairs i think that's all oh shoot. gotcha my manager is waving at me i gotta go bye <laughs> Okay, yeah, we have our work cut out for us here today. For sure, for sure. There is garbage everywhere, as per usual. I mean, we kind of... Oh, I probably should have sold the bag of chips. We kind of expected that, right? With everything that she said in her email. But I definitely didn't... Oh, we can sell that too. I definitely didn't expect it to be this bad. You know? Should be most of the trash from inside now taken care of. I just gotta find a trash can to dispose of that bag. We've got a couple more bags over here. And then of course, wait, somebody, yo, somebody lost their phone. Maybe we can sell that? Nope, it's, it's gone for forever. They are literally never getting that thing back. I've been trying to be especially careful not to pick up anything that's highlighted in yellow with the trash can. Instead, we're going to be selling that to try to make a little bit of money. Oh, those are worth zero dollars. Probably could have threw them away then. It looks like somebody else left their phone here. What else we got to get rid of out here? Two lights, eight chairs, and 89 stains. That is a lot of stains, dudes and dudettes. We got it. We got it. We're an expert cleaner now at this point. There we be. Okay, all that stuff has been sold. And then four things in here. One, two, three. Just one more thing. Oh, the other the other lights. Hey, there's that guitar we were looking for. Had the amplifier already, so I knew it had to be close by. But let's go ahead and get started cleaning up all this mess. Thank you. 
Alrighty, there we go. That's a good bulk of it. I wanted to make sure I included as, as much as I possibly could uh, for all the people that, that say that I don't include enough cleaning footage. So there you go. Merry Christmas. Time to break out the old vacuum. We've got quite a few potato chips over here. Must have just had a spillage. Or maybe somebody got a little uh, got a little too crazy and just fell over with, with chips in hand. Also, I, I didn't really realize this until just now, but I'm not really sure why there's a watermelon in the closet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move that into the kitchen. Wait a minute. We didn't even have to waste time picking stuff up, dude. Most of the stuff in here has to be sold anyways. Yeah, it would really help if I would like read what we're supposed to be doing prior to just starting to, to do stuff. We might still have a couple things on the porch that need to be sold. Let me check upstairs really quick. Bathroom, bathroom is good. Bedroom, also good. Okay, so all we have left then are just a couple items out here. And there we go, perfect. Okay, we're done cleaning. We're done selling. Now all we have to do is get some new furniture added in and then unbox whatever's going to be in here. Let's find out. Some vases. I'll put these in front of the door. Uh, we'll just sort of block that temporarily. And then once we get all the all the new furnishings... Oh, that's kind of cute. Once we get all the new furnishings put in... Wine glasses, too. Then we can, um, we can place these in a better spot. A spot that makes more sense. Let's see what we're working with here. Classic live, love, laugh signage. Gotta love that. I'm gonna start with the TV, and then we can kind of build the rest of the room around that. They used to have their TV on this wall. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and place that there. Dude, something I love, something I love about House Flipper 2 compared to the original game is the fact that the TVs are animated now. Not only that, but they have sound coming from them. Before, it was just a, a still image all the time. This is so much cooler. Not only that, but you can you can choose like what channel to watch, and it's cool. It's really cool. I like it a lot. Next up, couch. I'm going to leave all the designs and everything default because I'm pretty sure that's what the client wants anyways. You know what I'm saying? We've got that. This is going to be a shelf. We'll put that maybe just underneath the TV. That looks okay. That is going to be a coffee table. Let's do the rug first. Got a big old rug in here, big yellow rug. Not my cup of tea, but maybe uh, maybe Love likes it. Oh, you know what else? Her name is in the sign. Her name's Love. I wonder if that's why she wants the sign. But I'm going to put that right up there. I keep doing all these jobs without even turning on any of the lights. But honestly, there's plenty of natural light coming in through all the windows. So most of the time, it hasn't really been necessary uh, we've got the coffee table as centered on the rug as I can possibly get it. Now we have like a little uh, entertainment center. That's gonna go right there. Maybe I'll bring that shelf down, or we could move the we could move the shelf elsewhere. Nah, that's the best spot. That is definitely the best spot for it. We also have a clock that I could see looking pretty good up here, maybe. And then a Monstera plant. We might have actually put the, the live, love, laugh sign at the perfect height. It just needs to get scooted over a little bit to the left. That looks great. Oh, what ottoman. Okay, I kind of, I kind of spaced the ottoman. I'm going to be honest. Let's just put that right here. And it'll almost make that like an L-shaped couch. Works for me. The Monstera is pretty big. So I'm going to put that over here. And hopefully it doesn't like clip through the window bad or anything. Oh no, that's fine. That's mint. Okay, that's it then. Right? That's all the stuff. We just have to get um, like these decorations reorganized. There we go. There we go. It looks pretty nice. Minus the color combination. But again, I kind of wanted to leave that default just to see uh, what the vision was. And turns out it was ugly, unsurprisingly. But that is it for this job. We can officially finish it for 6,600 baccaroonies. And three stars once again. We've got a cool $32,000 now chilling in the back pocket. But like I said earlier, we still can't even buy any houses. So at least we get to hang on to that money for a little while longer. Ooh, cleaning spray has been added to our flipper arsenal. So I wonder if that's just going to make it easier to see dirt. No, it looks like it's going to make it faster 
um, to actually clean dirt. We don't have any other perks. Back to emails, back to crawfish, coast. This is a damaged wall, some extra tiles, so maybe, maybe new tiling tool, and then replacing some furniture. Should be pretty quick and easy. We'll see, though. I like the house. House looks great. Very, very cool, very modern. Very cool. Ooh. Nice front entrance. Some decent looking beams up there. I wonder how they did that. Honestly, how would how would they do that? Because it's not It's not a wall. Oh, it is a wall. I see it now. This is this is a roof. This is an angled roof. So that that is actually just a beam, I guess, right? That they were able to put up in the ceiling. That's kind of cool. I like that. I might have to might have to steal that and use it at a at a different property. Little workout area over here. Why is that? Oh my good, that's the wall. That is the wall, a hundred percent. All right, dude. Beachfront property. You just can't beat it. Well, you could, but that would be weird. We all know that that would be very weird. Oh, and there's more. Okay, I've got a bedroom in here. That looks pretty nice. Is that a refrigerator? No. Okay. I was thinking that was going to be a bit strange. And a very, very green bathroom. Concrete ceiling is is kind of cool. Let's go ahead and get started then in the room where we're supposed to be doing something with the wall. It is definitely damaged. There's no denying that. Oh, the spray, the spray. Okay, good little spritz. Little spritz there. Little spritz there. And now we wipe. And now we clean. Okay, yeah, that's way faster, dude. That's like going double time right now. That's that's actually cracked. That's kind of insane. So what do we actually have to do for the wall then? We're going to be painting it. Finish surfaces. 163. Paint 210. Still plenty of stains that need taken care of. A couple of other things that actually need sold off. So maybe we, maybe we do that before trying to fix that wall. Might free up a little bit of extra space. What am I missing? Oh, cabinets? Like kitchen cabinets? Dude, why wouldn't you want the why wouldn't you want the peninsula? That was nice. That was really nice. And then the book we don't need, we can just get rid of that. Oh, there's a bunch of scratches underneath. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and spray them. Spray that. Spray that. And wipe it down. Dunzo. Done deal. Okay, this they're going to be hanging on to, so let's just keep that with the rest of the kitchen stuff. We're looking good. Now that we've got all that stuff sold off, what do we have next? A cabinet, two cabinets, a shelf, a table, and four chairs. Where are they going to put the table and four chairs? Unless they're going to put it right here. That could work. It's going to be a little tight. This paint definitely looks like the same color as what's already on this wall. Okay, and that's highlighted for us now. That... That helps out quite a bit. Oof. Almost. Almost just one roller is all that was needed there. Just have one more strip, though. God, I love the painting, you guys. I really, really do. It is so nice. Okay. Are we done with the paint now? Maybe I'll hold on to it for a few minutes. But we have some, like, really large cabinets and a, and a shelf that need to be placed down in here. I just don't know... Well, they're the same color as the existing one. I just don't know what sort of, like, configuration they expect us to, to go with here. Maybe let's try to just line the TV up more with the couch. That'll probably work. We'll move this out of the way. Let's put the tall one on the right. And, oh, we're going to have to move this poster, too. Just move that up higher. Put the tall one on the right, and then we'll put the other one over there. That looks kind of nice. I like that. Just one more thing. One more shelf, and then we are out of here. Well, out of the living room, I guess. I I'm not really sure if we have more to do elsewhere or not. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm stupid. I already forgot. I was just talking about this, and I already forgot about the uh, the wood floor. So we can place that down. We have our new surface finishes tool. Basically a, a tile or paneling tool, just like original house flipper. We can grab some of these panels. Oh, and there's like a fixed 
size. We can make it smaller. Maybe when we get better with this skill, we can make it even larger still. But let's put that... Whoops. Let's put that down right there. Ah, I've got you. Okay, that's not terrible, but the table is definitely going to get in the way. This whole area needs redone. You can see just under the cabinets, that already kind of has that sort of herringbone wood floor that we're, that we're laying down. So it's just going to be this yellow highlighted zone right here shouldn't be too difficult I, I don't think just a couple more and then that should be all she wrote okay now we're gonna have a little bit extra so how do we how do we just put that tool away just like that easy okay now then we're ready to move into these other rooms okay more finished surfaces need to be changed both wallpapers right now they just have the one red accent wall with the wainscoting so i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see uh where they actually need this stuff at right here okay what about this one can we make that bigger negative not yet i think we're probably gonna be locked into this whole three by three uh grid type beat for uh for a little while but that's all right okay that looks pretty nice now we can put that back Grab the other one, and they would like this. Where? Where exactly? Oh, did they just want one or the other? Well, that's kind of boring. What if we what if we church it up a little bit, you know? What if we do something real weird in here? Now that is what I'm talking about, dude. Using both wallpaper uh, designs to make something truly, truly awful. I mean, that looks really bad, but hey, not our house, not our problem. You guys know what this means though, right? When we when we go back to our childhood home, oh, I missed a whole bunch of stains back here. Uh, but when we go back to our, our childhood home now, we should be able to use our tiling tool to fix all the broken tiles in the kitchen. There's, there's quite a few in the garage as well. We're supposed to sell the tub. That would have been a lot easier if I would have just looked at that first rather than trying to clean, uh, but it's all good. Oh, we're selling the tub and we're replacing it with a shower. I like it. I'm into it. That's going to have to go on this wall. I do also appreciate that we don't have to place individual installations for stuff like this anymore. The shower, the toilet, the sink, all that. Um, it kind of just comes with it and it, it makes construction go a lot faster for sure. Ooh, custom color ceramic. Nice. Is that going to go probably walls and floor, if I had to guess? Maybe one box is going to be enough. Oh, no. Just just the walls. Okay. I am, I am on it. That looks pretty dang good. That actually looks pretty dang good. Okay, let's lay those back down. Put them back in the box. We can sell the leftover material. And that's it. That is all she wrote. At least for the bathroom. Well, we're sitting at three stars now. I think that's actually all she wrote for the entire job. Let's see how many monies, plural, we're going to get for the 7,300 bones. That's not bad. And with a free tool. A free brand spanking new tool out of the whole deal. I am all here for that. Dude, what is this? I need to, I need to pull up these floors. I need to pull up these floors. There has to be treasure under here or something. Every time I come back to this house, I see these little particles underneath the floorboard and I can't figure out what they are if you guys know feel free to let me know down in the comments but I think I'm gonna have to do a little demolition here before too long uh, so I can finally get that get that sorted but now that we have our new tool we should be able to use our flipper tool right and we can copy this surface find it in the store buy a whole box of that exact tile I don't really even want to keep this tile I guess uh, but since since a lot of it's already here, we will be saving some money by just replacing all the all the gross ones. I'm going to put one back there. One back there. There's a broken one there I didn't see before. All right. See, that looks so much nicer. We still don't have access to change the style. So the cabinets for right now, they're going to stay looking kind of gross. And actually, there's like no backsplash behind them or just underneath of them. So let's bring those down. There we go. Covered it right up. Now it's on the top. See? Out of sight, out of mind. What about the garage, though? Didn't we have a couple of missing tiles out here, too? Yep, one right here. So we'll grab that one from the store. Get our tool back out. 
Starting to get the hang of it now. Starting to get the hang of this new tool thing. It's not so bad. Perfect. Okay. Easy. Now we place all those back in there. Make sure that we're selling instead of copying. Donezo. Done deal, dude. Let's see if we've got any houses available now. Nope. Still no houses. But we're sitting with about $40,000 in the back pocket now. So we're, we're really doing pretty dang solid. Oh, Tom. Our boy Tom again. This place looks awful. I'm just going to skim this uh, so we don't waste any time reading because I do read at a third grade level. You're making it big in Pinnacove. Client with a very specific taste. First proper house flip? You don't say, Tom. You don't say. Sign me up. Sign me up, brother. I'm ready for this. I don't even care how bad it is. That is all I've been wanting to do is just a full-on flip. And this seems like it'd be the perfect property for it. It's pretty small, right? But... It's got some charm, got some, uh, I guess you could call it character with our trash bag out. I'm going to try to just kind of clean things up maybe as we go. And we can, we can walk around this place, check it all out. Ooh, let's check out the top first. This is nice. This is really nice. Ooh, what the heck? Oh, it's just a skylight. Okay, I was thinking that that was open uh, to the floor uh, underneath really not that much trash up there though so let's make our way inside we can check this out again not terrible good bones right it's got good bones tons of potential why is there loose paper in the oven this place is little man i wonder how many like square feet it actually is still got two more additional rooms over here though it's like this used to be a bedroom once upon a time. It has seen some things, though. Oh, they just have a mattress up against the window. And some pallets. We'll get rid of that. Oh, there's that other trash I was looking for outside. This is probably going to be the closest we're going to get for a while to actually doing like a full flip. The only downside is we're kind of at Tom's mercy on this one. You know what I mean? Like he's he's ultimately making all the decisions for this place. Um, all we're here to do is just execute dude's commands, pretty much. Now we can really get into the fun stuff. And after this, you know, hopefully we'll we'll have to actually place new stuff in all the old stuff's place. But we're gonna we're gonna be able to find out real quick if Tom has good taste or not. Because again, he's in charge on this one. I just love doing stuff like this, man. I mean, this this really is what House Flipper is all about. Buying the worst house on the block and turn it into the best house on the block. We just have a little bit more trash. Gotta get out the vacuum, vacuum up these leaves on the little skylights, and then we can start scrubbing everything down. That's probably gonna take me a little while. Didn't we start this job with like a $40,000 budget? Because I think after selling everything, we might have just made 10 Gs. Just as easy as that. But let's see what all we have to purchase now. I think, I think I'm going to start with the finishes before we uh, jump right into just buying stuff. So in here we have some paint. Uh, out here in the kitchen we have some new hardwood floor potentially. And some new... Some new much-needed backsplash, too. That terrazzo is not really doing it for me. But we've got 370 different panels that need to be placed in here, um, including some new tile backsplash. Nothing going on outside apart from a table and two chairs. They used to have one over here, so I'm just going to place down a new one. What about the roof, though? Oh, yeah, we've got tons of stuff. No paint or or paneling or anything like that up here, thankfully, but... It's really nothing crazy. Just a couple of new plants in the planter boxes. An umbrella. 
two loungers, and a little coffee table. Nothing crazy, nice and simple, but effective. I think that'd be a, a pretty solid spot to hang out at. So let's focus on the tiling and, and paneling and stuff, like I said, first, and then we can actually uh, get things furnished. I'm thinking I'm going to start with the backsplash. So the flooring is probably going to need to go here. Oh, it's it, I bet it's just the same floor that's already in here. And they want us to tile from floor to here. We can do that. We can definitely do that. Ooh, that is nice. That is nice. So far, I'd say our, our boy Tom, he's actually got pretty good taste. This is pretty much... I, I might make my tile a little smaller than this, but that's pretty much what I would do in, in my own house as well. So we can sell that, and let's move on to the flooring. Just going to leave it all default, and we'll see if it's close to what's in here right now. Looks like it's exactly the same. Perfect. We've gotten a couple of different perks now, so I kind of want to check these out real quick. Grab what you can. Clear trash from a bigger area with your newly invented grabbing technique. All right, works for me. Heavy lifting, you can now carry more tiles, panels, and wallpaper sheets at once. Let's work those muscles. Back in the bedroom, we just have some white paint, some white stucco finish going on one wall. Two walls. Okay, so they, they actually appreciate, I say they, I mean Tom, appreciates uh, the, the wood plank wall. I don't think it looks bad. I would have probably changed it, but if it works for him, it's all right with me. Okay, Tom, I see you. I see the vision. It actually looks pretty nice in here. Back in the bathroom, though, we've got some more white subway tile, probably the same stuff that we just installed in the kitchen. And then I think this tile is probably going to go on the floor. So from here up and around and over will be this. And then the floor we'll just do in the other tile. I think that would probably look pretty nice. What do we got to purchase in here now? We've got a mirror, shower, turlet, and a sink. Everything that you could possibly want in a bathroom. Ooh, I like that surround too. That's nice. I wish they had like uh, glass surrounds like this without glass on the sides. Like if it were just one solid panel across the front, I think I like that look a little bit better. This seems like you're trying to cover up your, uh, your subway tile for whatever reason. The mirror is going to go wherever the sink is going to go, which in here is going to have to be right there, I think. It's it's a pretty small space, you know? But we've got a floating sink. That's going to go right there. And then last, but certainly not least, the turret. And it's got, dude, it's got gold hardware and a, a gold uh, plunger. That's pretty sick. All right, that's the bathroom done, though. Moving on to the bedroom. Where the magic happens. Got a nice looking bed, dresser, couple of little decorative bits that we can scatter around in here. You know, I almost feel a little bad for doubting Tom like that earlier. He really does have pretty good taste. I mean, that's a that's a solid looking bedroom. Uh, but bedroom, bathroom, complete. Now we can move on into the kitchen slash dining slash living room. Let's start with the biggest objects out here. The couch and the cabinets. I don't even know how many times I've tried to move these cabinets around, dude, but it's it's a bit of a shame that old Tom can't help us out with the configuration, you know? He can, he can basically just tell us which cabinets to choose, but I think that's probably going to work out the best. Now we just have a couple of upper cabinets, and uh, we'll be a, a, about finished, really. All right, the last piece of the puzzle here is going to be a desk, an office chair, a computer... And then last but not least, a little desk organizer dealio. I'll show you guys what else we have in here as well. I know you probably missed out on seeing me place a couple of things down. We've got a little lantern here, some fish decor. We are like right on the coast after all, so the aquatic theme is definitely in. Uh, a couple of little succulents there in their own little bowl. The kitchen turned out fantastic. It took me a long time to figure out where to place this. Um, because the way that it is, it like has to mount on a handle of, of some sort. So as, as it turns out, 
that's the spot where I, I think it's supposed to go. But I think that's it. I think we are finally finished with our first flip. You know, we had Tom kind of helping us, so I wouldn't really consider that our first actual flip. 20? 5,000? Almost twenty six thousand dollars which means we're getting a phone call from our boy we have eighty thousand like dollars now your first full house flip it's pretty good that is pretty good um the house was unusual yes that's true but i'm just gonna so say it was awesome enjoy it that's great it was Finico fantastic Tom. it was absolutely renovator. fantastic so when the town council members finally come to their senses we have someone to fix that poor old driftwood house but in the I'm meantime, ready. I have an idea for how you can practice your house flipping skills. What, more jobs? <laughs> Let me guess. There's a site do more jobs? you can look for rundown houses. Just buy them, do your magic, and put them on sale. I'm no, sure that with dude. your work quality, you'll find buyers in no time. You did Thomas. so well with the last house that I managed to sell it for way more than I expected. Good, so good, I good, Tom. To share some of the profit with you. It Glad should be to hear enough that. for you to buy your own house to flip. If you want to, of course. Take care and good luck with your career. Wait, did, did he just give us more money? We can now finally flip our own houses. So we still don't have the flipper tool where we can like change the style of our cabinets and, and furnishings and things, but that's okay. What we've got here is a is a good bulk of what we would need to actually fully flip a house really i think the other thing that i would want prior to doing that would be our sledgehammer and then of course the ability to build new walls since you guys know most of the full flips i do what are what are those uh most of the full flips that i do i usually go into a house and just demolish all the interior walls and we're gonna need a sledgehammer in order to do that but eighty thousand dollars you guys and now we can officially start buying our own houses to flip oh former houseboat that's the one we literally just did and it looks worse now somebody bought it made it look worse and put it back up for sale interesting the blue bungalow more than a trailer over the garage some of these that orange one i really like that some of these look really really nice and others look a bit run down but that is fantastic news from tom and i think that's a great spot for us to wind things down at for today but once again if you guys did enjoy please leave a like leave a comment help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys peace